forklift frenzy tonight cleanups underway after a costly crime spree hit several Sacramento businesses and a church. The suspect's weapon of choice was a forklift. CBS 13's Laura Hafley is live outside the jail with more on this vandalism spree and the victims picking up the pieces. Laura. Well, tonight the church is still adding up all the damage, hoping that this vandalism doesn't stop them from doing good work in their community. Bent metal, bolts ripped from the ground, and a 60-foot-long tent torn to shreds. It's the aftermath of a stolen forklift frenzy. I couldn't believe it. I, I don't know why will somebody take a forklift. Deputies say the vandalism spree started late Saturday night when the suspect stole this 20-ton forklift from a South Sacramento construction business. He's then accused of taking it on a half-mile-long joyride along Stockton Boulevard, causing thousands of dollars in damage. When we got here, we saw total destruction. Past Mr. Les Simmons of South Sacramento Christian Center was the hardest hit. Well, at first I thought it was like, did they did somebody drive through in a big rig? And then we found out it was a forklift. The suspect smashing through the church's locked gate and then tearing up the large vinyl tent they use for food giveaways, COVID testing, and vaccinations. It's not necessarily a hate crime, but it is an act of hate to come and totally destroy something. Businesses across the street were also damaged, including this nail salon whose rear door was struck and a liquor store whose side gate was smashed. I knew something was wrong. Pavi Singh saw the suspect driving the forklift recklessly and called 911. Going over the speed bumps super fast, bouncing, uh, making fast turns and stuff and uh, he didn't really know how to drive it. Sheriff's deputies eventually caught the suspect and took him into custody, but it's a costly crime for those now trying to clean up. I imagine this is going to have a price tag to it, upwards of fifty to $75,000. Sheriff's Department is still trying to verify the suspect's identity, who remains behind bars on felony vandalism charges. Oh, what a mess. All right. Thanks, Laura.